Hi everyone, my name is Juno Masius. I'm an advanced meditator with more than 10,000 hours of meditation practice and the creator of the Theta Ways Meditation Technique. And I'll put a link to my website below. This video is about how meditation can regularize a person's blood glucose. There is an epidemic of diabetes type 2 in the Western world, and there are different factors that contribute to that. Obviously, there is the genetic aspect, but there most of it has to do with a person's lifestyle, whether they, they're eating the proper type of food, if they exercise, and the stress aspect. But there's another a point that is rarely talked about. It has to do with a person's resting breathing rate. Most people hyperventilate through the mouth, and that triggers a stress response that spikes the person's blood glucose. When you actually take into consideration that most people hyperventilate through the mouth, and you add other factors such that a person's uh, gentle predisposition, the fact that they're not eating proper food, they're not exercising, and they're constantly stressed, then yes, the incidence of type 2 diabetes will increase over time. That, uh, the link between a person's resting breathing rate and their blood glucose has been uh, identified in the 1950s by Dr. Constant Boteco. So this doctor has seen that with many chronic illnesses, it is very much impacted by the person's resting breathing rate. And so what he has done is that he has created the Boteco technique and this technique is something that's been taught in for many years now. And I would really suggest that people read the book by Patrick McEwen. He is a breathing trainer who has taught not only lay people, but also athletes to regularize their breathing. Now, according to the late Dr. Buteco, the normal resting breathing rate for an adult, and that is nasal breathing, is 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Now, most people breathe between 12 and 20, so it's not surprising that most people will have issues with not only diabetes, but a range of chronic illnesses that are very much impacted by a person's resting breathing rate. No. Meditation is a natural practice that is effective at regularizing a person's resting breathing rate, which will help bring down their blood glucose to the normal range. What happens is that meditation is challenging for most people because the majority have a beta brainwave dominance, and to meditate, a person has to bring down their brainwaves to alpha or better yet, theta. So what I've done, I've created a meditation video with a theta brain frequency embedded in them, so when a person watches these videos, their brainwaves automatically slow down so they can experience a meditative state on their first attempt. So I've put below a link to uh, my seven day free trial so you can test these videos before subscribing. So when it comes to health in general, uh, a person's resting breathing is very much key. And the link between chronic illnesses and a person's resting brain it has been determined years ago by Dr. Constant Butego. There are probably other uh, healthcare professionals who have uh, seen the link, but he is one of the uh, pioneers in this field. So uh, let me know what you think of the content of this video by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button. Also remember to click on the notification bell to be notified of, of the videos I'm going to be making. Subscribe to my channel and we will talk soon.